Hi, John here. I've just come back from the Freemasons um, main office for North Island in uh, Ellerslie, 9A Roberts Road uh, in the township. I met uh, Bruce, um, Bruce McMurtry, uh, the district grand secretary. And he's filled me in on what Freemasons are. As far as I can see, it's quite different to what it looks like. Uh, it's not a business. It's a group of men. I can't see any woman on there because they call themselves bros. And that means brothers. Uh, so it's, it's an organised... Um, uh, I'd say a membership of business people. Uh, I, I can say they are business people because of the connection it has with its symbols. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it, of where they fit on our land. These lands belong to us and instruments cover the land. And uh, I had a good talk with him and another guy there two of them actually, so there's three of them there, and I had to press the bell and the door opened, click, and in I went. But it was good, um, I must say, uh, on first meeting, uh, I found it quite uh, interesting, and uh, in my own estimations of Freemasonry, uh, they are quite something of power, of some sorts, over these lands. And I'm saying that the symbols that they use are protracted uh, pieces of paper which gives them authority over our native lands. So I went there to find how Mohi Manikau, or Paramount Chief, Timati Mohi Manikau, the fourth, fits in the Freemasons Lodge. Well, all he could say was he was a member for 50 years and he was a good man. And that's about all. Nothing more, nothing less. So for me, that wasn't very helpful because I wanted to find the full story of where Mohi fits with his titles to the land that was sold with instruments, legal instruments. And I'm um, contemplating joining uh, the Freemasons, but when I say it's just for men, I'm for women as well. And I don't see no woman in there. Women are my backbone on anything I do. I must have a woman behind me. And that's important in an equality of power rather than one power. But that's my own opinion. And I must say that uh, from that chance encounter meeting, it was open to anybody to join in the Freemasons. They are ideas people, they are um, organised, they are um, collectively uh, helping each other to better themselves. As far as their oath is concerned, they are information gatherers. That's all I can see, information gatherers, not controllers. Because if they're found to be controlling, that's another story. As far as I'm concerned, every bit of legal document that has any symbols on it or any protracted image of some power, as far as I'm concerned, goes through the Magistrate Court in Edinburgh and the Magistrate Court in Westminster, full stop, in Britain, that includes the Freemasons and what they do as groups of people or 
societies or charities or it says charities on there but they're not a, uh, an organization of a business well, it might be a bunch of businessmen because the guy there was an engineer like me you see he's an engineer you see they're running their own businesses and that's the part that gets me an organization where they meet for only 15 minutes the meetings all over what do they go in for what would you go in for 15 minutes in a meeting once a month to see the sun or the moon. I, I noticed that they are there on the full moon. Why not a quarter moon or in the sun? Because my beliefs are in the sun, the first sun in the morning, the energy source at the East Gate, first sun in the world. That's the energy force that I'm talking about on our Moai. Crown, uh, belief, traditions. It's the sun is closest distance to the earth on my land at Rahui Marai, Tiki Tiki, and St. Mary's Church. As far as I'm concerned, that's the highest bow in the world. The sun, the energy of this earth, the life force, the new life force of Easter Island and the Moai statue, why? The Queen took him to England in 1868. That's Queen Victoria. Not a man, a woman. You see, took it on an Admiralty ship belonging to King William IV and his flag. That's the part I really want to know. Now I can rule the Freemasons right out because they're just an organisation, just like Rothschilds and the royal families, just like us and our hapu, the commercial landowners of these lands, that they got their symbols and their organisations sitting on. You see, I told him who I was. Maybe he's oblivious to that, but they don't really know. He don't want to know what more his life was, you see. How did they get on the land in the Kaipara Harbour without him and his ancestors? They didn't seem to know about Te Rawaikato Whare Herehere Manakao in Edinburgh. I've got the magistrate court in my bag. I took it there but I didn't bring it out. I didn't take it in. In this bag. There's enough in this bag. Better than the whole lot of them put together. It actually got them on this land here in New Zealand. In this bag. Everything in this bag is a portable magistrate court of admiralty, court martial and financial martial law that can boot anybody off these lands if they don't come clean and tell us the truth. And I know the Freemasons' oath is not the deeds of truth. They're the deeds of myth and stories. Telling. I can't see anything wrong with that, but it's the way they're going around it. That's the part. That's the part I want to know about. Say one thing, and it means another. But I'm going to say this. We are the authority in this country with this flag. That's a king's flag that made all the laws, acts of parliament, in this bag to get you on this land. Freemasons and everybody. In this video, citation on this video as fact, truth, deeds of truth, law, my word against anybody's word, standing in front of me with this bag. If you haven't got anything to match what's in this bag, sorry, you'll have to cough up for occupation, rental, rent chief. Here, eight point star that those royal families seem to be wearing. And the Governor General, Patsy Reddy, is wearing over here in front of her on a blue outfit. That's the C of Admiralty. Why is she wearing that? Tell me that. Hmm? Who gives her the authority to wear that? That's our title partnership, two-way party contract in the private Admiralty Court in their back.
Now, unless they can come out of being silent and stand in front of me and these paramount chiefs, now that they are commercial landowners, I can now report back to them and the hapu all over the world, the native people watching what I did and those paramount chiefs suddenly found something new to talk about, their own authority. I'm talking about the original native surnames, the ones that are real natives, not the Maori, because those are the ones that I'm naming Kingi Taurua. That's not his surname. You see, that's not his surname. He's an Edwards. You see? And the Harawera, Titifai Harawera, Hone Harawera, and uh, Kahi Harawera, and his other little brother, there, Tupono's Tamati Wakanini. Well, you want to know who's that one's real name? Thomas Walker. Thomas Walker, grandmother. Nene is grandmother. Hmm? So you see, I come across the Freemasons here. Got another story. You see, it's their documents. That's why I'm saying. I said to I said to Bruce, uh, Bruce um, McMurtry, 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 Bruce McMurtry, I said to him, oh, you're the most powerful people in this planet. He says, no. I said, yeah, the way I'm looking at it, it's the Rothschilds, the Queen, the Pope on this side, versus, and the Iwi Maoris, versus the Hapu, and the Freemasons on this side. Oh no, he didn't register that one. He, he didn't register that one. I, I couldn't take a video of him saying that either. I'm just telling you here on this video what he said. No, they're not in any business at all. You see, there are all these people standing there, but the Freemasons themselves is not a business. This is not a business. I, I quite believe that. It's not a business. It's got a symbol here of the compass for scribing the lens with certificates, papers, and that becomes a title over the land, but the land belongs to us. Now that we're commercial landowners in our own magistrate court that we opened up, it makes us commercially equal to a king and better than a king because we're live people on our own land here. And the Queen is a third party. These are third party. They are third party to a two party contract with King William the Fourth and his flag. He didn't know that. He didn't know that. They don't want to know that. You see, silence is an admission of guilt because they're not in that truth side of their oath. They don't. Uh, they don't follow truth. Because I've read that all up. I've read it online. Of how do they get their authority, who from, and what drives them? Well, simply put, they're a mixture of any race of people, but only men. Only men. I have problems with that. I have problems with only men, because kings are only kings for men, and queens don't come into it. You see, they don't talk about queens in their jurisdiction. It's all about the king. That's what I was saying to him. It's the paramount chiefs and the Freemasons. Well, Bundy, for your information, I've just made my assessment of the Freemasons and Bruce McMurtry's business card. That's a business card. It says here, I'm not picking at him, I'm just saying he's a nice man. They'll, they'll, they'll be nice people because they're the people I want to meet. District Grand Lodge, North Island, New Zealand, under the United Grand Lodge of England. England, see, England. That's where I'm getting my authority from, England, from the king, straight, not around the corner, not through any groups, not for any other country inside Britain, but from England itself, the king of England. He's a king of Scotland and a king of Ireland and I'm dealing directly as the king. So Bruce 
McMurky, Mac, McMurky, sorry, PGSWDB, District Grand Secretary. And so he's open. He's, I, I, I got it straight from the horse's mouth. That's what I said to him. I got it straight from the horse's mouth. Because I told him who I was from uh, Rapa Nui to Mokunui on my land block, and I'm the Maui. So he's oblivious to that of native culture and um, our, our way of living and our laws. And he's oblivious to King William. They only look after their own interests. And that's the part I have difficulty with, looking after their own interests. While we're looking after our own interests is the land. That's what I said on videos to Takaya Mary News. I was in interviewed at Kururareka, where the flag was flying upside down, this flag, on the mast of the ship of Admiralty in Russell, Bay of Islands. You see, it's going to come out in the end of who are all the third parties. They are third parties. Bruce, you're a third party in a two-party contract between those Paramount Chiefs, now that it's come out as Paramount Chiefs, from Mohi, Manukau, that you didn't know anything about his traditional life of Moriori. You should have known. The, the Freemasons should know whose land they're sitting on. It's not your land. It is not your land. It belongs to the hapu and the crown, whichever side you're on, the king's crown, the queen's crown, or any crown, are sitting on land of fraud and corrupted titles. That's what I'm saying on this video. I'm citing this video with your name in it and these documents. I don't have a problem with your documents because you told me straight. It's not a business. A money building, bill charge debtoring businesses. So that leaves you out from that. But anybody who's attached to this organization and their businesses that we investigate, we have the right to investigate every business. Already John Key has been caught in his businesses in that Kaipara area of Helensville, he's being in Kumu, he's being caught out with the Panama Papers with 13 million going to Hillary Clinton in that scam fraud. And that's tied in with this organization of those business people. You can't tell me he's not a Freemason. Can't tell me because we're going to check. We're going to check who's mischiefing on our land. And everything will be confiscated, seized from anyone who's linked in Joinder and is accessories to John Key's fraud. You'll find everyone is in the Crown Corporation. Everyone. Completely everyone. In New Zealand and Pacific Islands, for that matter. The Cook Islands. So you see, I'm just eliminating one to the other to be left with only those people who are running fraud business on our land. I have the right to be on video, YouTube, straight into Westminster Magistrate Court and the Navy there and the government, Westminster, to report to them our findings here of fraudulent dealings with the government of New Zealand, the Governor Generals of the past present and the future, and the Queen, who is not the head of state of New Zealand, so they got another problem, you see, you're going to be left with these men, and the King and the Maui statute is man only. Now, that's our custom, law, L-O-R-E, it's truth, deeds of truth, that Maui's male only bloodline on Rapa Nui to Mokonui on the East Cape. That title holds true with kings. King William IV and King William III in this eight point star. Anybody wearing this eight point star who's not in our organization, you get the bill. You get the bill. And you go, if you're one of those attached to the Freemason, you all get the bill. I'm warning you that I'm checking out all the organizations on this land and those paramount chiefs and all their hapu and every 
member who joins on this side of the King's Bench Grand Jury Native Trial Magistrate Court in this day, right here, he's going to get the bill. I was hoping that Bruce would join me in Mahi Manikau's 50 years legacy with the Ambrose in Helensville or the Duke of El El Albany in the area where he was born and grew up in Matakaui, Kaipara, with his grandfather, Mohi Rogan. Okay, so this is a true story that you got on these lands through the Manukau Moriori title. No way else. And I'm finding who is running businesses under this Queen Elizabeth Rothschilds and Pope Francis corrupted system. You get the bill. A trillion pounds each. Each person. When you add up all the statistics on 183 years and divide it into 4.7 million people in this country, you'll be staggered to know that the 970 million trillion trillion pound note that I had is justified of the fraud scheme of using this flag and our kings to defraud the people of the world. So I just wanted to, to um, make you aware of our intentions from Te Hapua, um, up north in Spirits Bay, that's the spirit over there, Te Reringa Wairua, Spirits Bay, and Te Hikua Te Ika Marae, where we'll be on the 18th, 19th, 20th, to put this message across to the Crown here and Britain that we're taking action to seize this country and all its belongings and wealth that's been stolen from it. The Queen's Bench Court back into the King's Bench Court. I make that on the record here and for those watching in Britain. So if the Freemasons here have distanced themselves from Mohi Manukau as one of their business operators, then I want to find out where all the money went from what he set up with his ancestor, Tira Waikato, Whara Herehere, Manukau and Hongihika in England to allow them to come to this land and settle on it and take the best bits of it for themselves and left our families out and shot them out. There's a lot to answer for, that's why the figures are high and I am there as a creditor for all the people in the world who have been done out and all those immigrants that have been shifted off their lands so that the British and the European Union, especially the European Union and the NATO and the United Nations, US Federal State and IMF, the Freemasons, or not the Freemasons, sorry, the Rothschild Banks, the Queen and the Royal Family and the Pope and the Vatican have displaced them off their land, the natives off their land and going after the minerals, you'll find those natives will be going back to their land after we take our land back here. And you can't do anything about it because you're a third party. This is a, how you made your money from the, this king and his laws. We got our laws, those laws are in my bank. The king's laws are in here. We have the right, the legal right, the legitimacy of title and jurisdiction to use those acts on you. Anybody breaking our laws. Okay, we just started up, we have started up in business on a clean slate. More like the New World Order. I really thought the Freemasons was going to come clean with Bruce. I'll go and see the other ones in um, Helensville, Awaroa, that's where the bank started, the Awaroa Bank, the BNZ Bank, the um, um, it went to the League of Nations, the money, and then it went to the World Bank. And that's where that money's sitting now from that Awaroa, Monaco, title to this country.
Okay? That's that's what that's how it happened. We have a right to audit all the books in ancient treasury with Theresa May and her government, kick the lords out, and I'll go in there, kick them out with this lad and our paramount chiefs, because we have the right to speak in the absence of the king until we put Ernest Augustus straight into Westminster. We're going to do that from Te Reranga Wairua or Te Hiku at Ika Marae in Te Hapua, Spirit Bay. We're going to put that together, that petition to put King Ernest Augustus straight on the throne. By the time we get there, it should be done. We got the right as a contractor in this business of Admiralty, martial law and financial martial law to bill anybody with this magistrate court. This is a portable magistrate court live person, live man, captain on a ship. That's Hiriwini Kraka or Sawan Clark, the registry up there with Mohi, uh, with Manahi Parapara Mohini as the um, uh, court. Um, JP, Justice of the Peace, on the Queen's Bench side of the bar, over to the King's Bench court side. He's on both sides with the legal documents to pass them into the King's Bench in Westminster Magistrate Court. And in Edinburgh Magistrate Court, St Mary's Chapel is there. That's the best death of marriages right there with our own titles from Scotland and my ancestors. Rogans that put these titles together in the Kaipara for these Freemasons to settle there in Helensville. That's that wharf over there where all the boats were tied up in those warehouses. I made a video over there the other day with the Freemasons there in Corfi Street. Um, <coughs> I videoed the uh, um, Masonic Lodge there that Mohi Manukau dropped them off there uh, when he was going to the meetings and once a month but I lived with him up there in uh, uh, his brother's place in Helensville on a 10 acre block where this flag was flying. Well, he was flying this flag where the courthouse was. Okay, so that's what I wanted to say. I'll just finish off this um, video. Um, so that's my visit today to see um, Bruce um, McMurtry in Ellerslie uh, has given me, me an account first hand from the horse's mouth on what is a Masonic Lodge. As far as I can see, there are a lot of business people and I, I could join them uh, and that business um, um, people, but um, uh, I don't think I will because I'm going to stay straight into Westminster as the ruling authority over lands, all native lands in the world. So that will be the end of that lot. We have the last say, Grandmaster. Um, so I'll just show you the book. That's the uh, District Grand Lodge of North Island, New Zealand under Un the United Grand Lodge of Antient, Antient Free and Accepted Masons of England. There. Okay. I've got a picture of the North Island there and their masonry officers. Um, Whangarei, Walkworth, Helensville, Auckland, Tauranga, Hamilton, Rotorua, Taupo, Rapariki, Gisborne, Napier, Hastings, Palmerston North, Wellington, Wanganui, New Plymouth. There. Those are all the Freemasons officers. And the Duke of Al Albany uh, is in Helensville. That's the one I'll be going to that meeting. I've got the date of the meeting there. Third. The third. So I'll, I'll go there and appear in front of them and write to them that I want to go and see if they accept me to go to the meeting. I'm very important when it comes to that area where they're occupying the lands and leasing the lands to the King of England. And we are the partner to the King of England with this flag. This is the highest power in the world flag and this eight point star of St. Patrick in Belfast where Theresa May just put the billion dollars, pound notes, billion pounds in there to administer what she is looks like determining that the eight point staff King William III is going to start 
flexing its muscles and we'll be flexing our muscles here with Westminster and we're go I'm going there with these Paramount Chiefs to boot all the war lords out. You don't need them when you've got a king. There's a king there. The lords can go. That'll save all that money paying them, and no more paying them after they've retired. They're getting money to burn from people who work hard to make the money while they're retired and flying around the world. <coughs> Those days are numbered. Everything in that business is corrupted. The message from the district grandmaster. That's a letter, I won't read it, but that's the letter uh, there. I'm just saying what he gave me. Uh, it got on him to give it to me because it's for anybody who wants to join. That's from Brian J. Westhead, District Grand Master. Okay, so that's been, at least he's being honest with me, and that's the application form. If you want to join, it costs you 200 bucks and another 200 on top of that. Uh, to um, uh, for the uh, joining one of the Grand Lodges. So an application of 200 plus and another application to uh, join one of the um, organisations. So I think you're paying for expertise. That's the way I see it. You're paying for their expertise. I've got no doubt in my mind that they are experts running that organisation as their own businesses. They go there for 15 minutes, what for? Have a guess what they go inside that Masonic Lodge, what for? To see the sun come up or the moon? No, it's in the night time. It's the full moon. Right? Where ours is the sun? Right in the daylight, midday and 6 a.m. in the morning at the East Cape on my land block, Tiki Tiki, and Mount Hukarangi, the closest and the first to get the sun in the world. That's power. And Rapa Nui, midday, right, smack on the door, and London, 6 p.m. in the afternoon. Triangle. That's our title. This title, St. Patrick's, St. Mary's, birth certificates, deaths and marriages on the stock market, bonds, that value, this value, as the click of rent on lands occupied and conquered by the king, is the St. Patrick's in Belfast, where he's buried. That's my ancestors from there, the Cosgroves and the Patricks on Jamie's ancestral side, right there. And her Stuart side in Helensville, where Mohi lived on Stuart Street. That's his house still there where I had the meetings for this flag in the Confederation of Chiefs. The Confederation of Chiefs died. It got blown over by the 1840 treaty. That's that side. This side is 1834, British title, that no one can inquire into an admiralty private contract. This still stands. The moment the Navy said the land belongs to the King, it happened to be the King of England, and the King of Britain, UK, King of Scotland and King of Ireland, King William IV, right then, this way. That's it. Everything else is third party. Take my word, do not fool around with the British military, Navy, First Lord of the Sea, Philip Jones is our partner, legal partner, with this flag in business, with Moai, like I said, that's the title to the world, the triangle inside a circle of light, three points on the globe, three points where the sun shines on dry land. Any other points are in the sea. It doesn't add up. You won't get a triangle anywhere else in the world with three points on this planet Earth shining the sun at the centre. They got the moon at night, howling his head off. They're like that, the wolf. Big bad wolf in the middle of the night. That's when they do their meeting. We, we have ours in the daytime. Right? In front of, under the stars. Or under the under the sun, I mean. Right? And first 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 sun in the morning at the on the East Cape. That's our that's our new energy life force. You've got the spent force in the West that by the time the sun gets to London, there's no energy left. It's gone. We've used it all up right here. And I'm afraid to say this. All immigrants who are here are third parties in this contract with these paramount chiefs. I'm putting it all together up north and bring it to Katimarai. No one's going to stop us, King Yi. 
Because unless you've got a title with your name, your own name, you're out of business. Off you go. Off the land. Because you know why? The paramount chiefs say so, and myself, the sheriff and this magistrate court. That got your people, your Edwards family here. I'm telling you the truth. You can't deny it. And Willie Jackson is a Jew. The DNA is going to catch you out. The DNA will catch you out. That's what we're going to do anyway with Moai. The Moai crown is going to test everybody in this country on their DNA, whether you like it or not. We'll be taking stock of that before you're allowed to stay on this land here. That's the law. That's our law in this magistrate court on Titi Marae and Waitangi Marae. And Peter Peroni, there's a warning to you and Kingi. Cease and decease from thinking that you're going to get this flag and the New Zealand walls to cover your Maori, Iwi, authority. You have no title. It's all in his bag. Unless you come up with something better than this titles in here, that the Freemasons have no right to this, they have no right to Moi Manukau's titles, they have, in fact, they've got no right to these lands. Unless you've got this bag full of documents, ain't going anywhere as far as the British are concerned, because they're our partners. The British Navy, that's us take court. There, that's it. The Queen cannot inquire into what we say, what I say and what these paramount chiefs say. There's three of them there, one of yours, Clark. He'll fix you lot up. He's 90 years old, he'll come there to England and fix everything up. Hmm? Bottle of whiskey should do that. <clears throat> uh, so, other bits that came, material that came with the uh, uh, application was these, um, that's very like, nicely designed, public affairs. These are little books, booklets, to tell you how it works. Very good. I mean, they'll still be there. And we're just only going to change the ones at the top. Leaflet, Freemasonry. If the video goes off, you'll know why. External relations. External relations. Okay. Public affairs. See, these are organisations they're running. Inside that Masonic Lodge. And why they're there for only 15 minutes in their week. Religion, see they're covering these things, right, I'm, I'm, I'm just showing you, to be honest, they're honest, and society, okay, and Freemasonry, there, that's their organisation, fair enough, they're doing business on this land with their membership, a membership, okay, of Edmonton, so that's that part of it, and then what's it all about, that tells you what Freemasonry is all about, I haven't, I haven't really read it, but I can, uh, I can assume from here, looking at it, that they are running a business in their membership and a lucrative business. Look, they're into the fashion designs. These are the things. They're in the car clubs. They're into all the expensive things that um, bring business people together and their ideas to better themselves. That's their oath of office, is to better the man you are. That's the oath of the Freemasonry, better the man you are. Our oath is to better the people of New Zealand. That's our oath to the, the, from the, from the uh, Paramount Chiefs, to better the people of New Zealand, not the man. Otherwise I'll be talking about myself, better me. I'm bettering myself all the time to myself. Now I'm sharing it with the Paramount Chiefs and the Hapu and everybody else in this country. I'm open, I'm open. When we get this pound note going, it's going to build everybody who's crooking us on these lands because... Like I said, you're only renting the land and the space. So you're going to have to pay for premium space on this land. I've got some figures here for uh, a calculation of how we're going to work things out in this book. I wrote it down this morning. And I'll tell you, I'll just give you a little insight into what I've, I've, you know, how I'm going to divvy up the 970 million trillion trillion pound notes amongst the people in the world. So I've written down here somewhere, somewhere, how many people in the world? Seven billion? 
Some of you but I must find it somewhere. Um, geez, I wrote flat out. I wrote that fast this morning for things I wanted to talk about at the lodge. I took my book, I took everything. But, as usual, I don't want to talk about anything other than what they do. So I'm talking about what we're going to do. And they'll just have to absorb it. They'll just have to take it. And follow what we say. What we say goes. If no one can refute what we say, then that's the law. That is the law. Oh, here it's at the back, no wonder. Okay? So the area of the Earth is 510.1 million square kilometres. That's, that's the size of the Earth. The radius is 8.371 kilometres. 8,371 kilometres. The mass is 5.972 times 10.24 uh, kilograms. So that's the mass of, of the weight of the Earth, I suppose. The gravity. Uh, oh, we won't worry about it. The age is 4,543 billion years. The area of New Zealand, get this, 268.021 kilometres square. Population is 4.471 million in 2013. That's, it says here, World Bank figures. See, I just wrote it all down this morning. So I can get these figures. Uh, gross... Uh, um, this per, per GDP per capita, 41,556.83 US dollars in 2013. World Bank. You see, we go back to that bank, the Aurora Bank in Helensville, the Aurora Native Magistrate Court. That's where they put the bank together, the BNZ in England, and the BNZ here. That's our business. Okay? Uh, so, 268 kilometers square as a percentage of 510, Divided by 268 area of, of New Zealand, right? We're only about 0.4% of the whole total expense of the world. Point, point, about 0.14%. We're, we're 14 hundredths, that's what I worked out to, 14 hundredths of uh, the area of the earth in area per population. Demographics. De demographic. World population as at March 2017 will be 7.49 billion in 2017 and 11.2 billion in 2100. Right? 2100 will be 11.2 billion. So they're trying to kill off 7.49 billion people so that they can have only a few left over for the elite people. Not like hell. They can go to hell. In June 2016, New Zealand population is 4.693. Uh, 4.693 million. Um, 4. Point, yeah, 4.693 million. Elizabeth, reigning monarch of 16 Commonwealth countries. She's a re she she's a reigning monarch of 16 Commonwealth countries. We're going after. Fakafichi La Pa Mission Station, established here, Waipu. Um, Waipu conquered, devastated by Hongi. Raid in 1880, 1818, Tiwera and Pomari, 1820 to 1823. See, there's Pomari and Hongihika doing the British thing, shooting all the Maoris, or not, wasn't Maoris then, the natives and the Moriori's off the land on behalf of King George IV in that time period, before King William IV in 1830. King George was this time that Hongi. Hika and Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manikau, Paramount Chief, went to England. And it was Tira Waikato that wrote up the land transfer to South New Zealand, not Hongi. Hongi was there military wise to rid everybody off the land so that the British can have it and him. That's what Kingy's trying to do now. He's trying to take the 
Pitti land for himself and forget about the rest of New Zealand. See, that's, that's the mentality of somebody who's a Maori that has no stank status of a native surname of his own. Taurua is not his surname. That's the mischievous Maoris running this country. All those people in the Maori Party and all those Harabudas and all those people are in the same Maori boat. We, we don't have Maoris. In this paramount chief, we don't have Maoris. You can't come in there acting as a Maori government or a Maori or someone of that jurisdiction under Queen. Anything with the Queen's head or Maori or Iwi on that side, you can't come in this side. I'm telling you right on this video, right now, we're citing anyone stepping in this side with those paramount chiefs up in uh, Hokia and up north. This is straight 13 chiefs. Hapu, King William, straight with this flag and throw the 1835 Declaration of Independence out. It's out. It's got no mana, no title, no nothing. It's been demolished by these thugs and pirates on this side and everybody connected to it, including the Freemasons. They're on this side. Okay, all those businesses are running under this jurisdiction of the Queen's head of state and seal. That's not there. There's no seal on this side of all the documents. That's why I'm trying to tell this guy. He doesn't want to know. They do not want to know the truth because it's not in their constitution, neither is it in their jurisdiction. Okay? They say that in their jurisdiction and constitution. They don't swear to anything else but their own bros in their little organisation. And yet there they are practising with a, as if a queen is there. They're in trouble this, in this flag in our magistrate court. These are district courts. High court is this one. They're defrauding the high court and pulling the money out of the high court and the district courts for this side illegally. So that's what I want to say. Uh, that's what I can say today on my little escapade to the Free Basins. Thank you very much, Bruce, for letting me come into your establishment. But uh, unfortunately, I can't join you because it's counter and uh, in conflict with our King's jurisdiction on this flag. On the 1834, 20th of March 1834, Navy Magistrate Court that hopped off the ship in Kororareka, Clendon, Captain James Reedy Clendon jumped off the boat and Proclaim this country belongs to the King of England, King William IV. That's it. That's it. That's that title. It fixed the contract. It was already written up in England with Hongi Hika and Tilawak or Farahirahere Manakao. It was already pre sold. And I've got the documents to prove it. Fact. Cited evidence on videos and written. Whichever way you go, I'm here in the flesh and blood talking to you, Bruce, and all your Freemasons in this country. You're on notice. You're on notice from the Twig Station, 1933 on Mount Eden Hill. I did a video there with um, the American lady, Jean O'Dean. She's a professor and she knew there's something wrong with the titles here and proves beyond a doubt, with the Catholic Church in Parnell, joined up with the St. Mary's Church, slid the Catholic Church next to the St. Mary's Church, my church, on Tiki Tiki, in the East Coast, in on my Rahui, Hapu, Paramount Chief Wano, Uataha, land, native, that started off the birth certificate racket of the bonds on the stock market. King William the Fourth set up for us, my family. My own Wanoa Royal Tahitian family, higher than the Queen. Okay, that title with King William IV and this eight point star of St. Patrick's order on this flag proves who we are as the king makers on these lands and rights of the world. 
where our flag has been bastardized and used to corrupt other native titles the same way. Right? It was Rothschilds who fashioned King George the Fourth to get out of the way to put King William the Fourth in, to switch the titles over to Queen Victoria and leave Ernest Augustus the first out. He should have been Ernest Augustus should have been the king. And Ernest Augustus the fifth is going to take over. We're putting him straight in as the second party in this Sedicate Trust private contract of Queen Victoria Trust. We're seizing everything that the Rothschilds and the Church and State, Catholic Church, Church of England and the Queen and the Royal Family have defrauded us and conspired to defraud the public of the world in all the Commonwealth countries and other countries they traded with illegally and Prince Andrew illegally um, defrauded the people on New York uh, where he was living and taking King William's place. King William IV set that all up in his 50 years in the Navy. Everything's Navy documents. Those Navy documents are more powerful than those ones. Okay, our documents in this bed that I write are more powerful than those documents right here. You have no say on these lands or any native lands in the world because we created the laws that got you on the land in the first place. Mm -hmm. Doesn't belong to you. You have to hand them back to Westminster. That's my court with these paramount chiefs. That's our court, the highest court in Britain on Westminster, Land of England, Wales. Okay, Land of England, Wales, Admiralty. Started off in Wales and the old titles of Ireland and St. Patrick and St. Mary's. That is my own title in Tiki Tiki and this flag in our families. The Cook Island families, Captain Cook, 19, 1833. King William IV acknowledged that Captain Cook founded this country first. 1833, 1834, put the flag in to make it a British colony straight there, one on one. Nobody else. Private, nobody's business to inquire into our business. You cannot inquire into our business. We have the whole world at large following us online to join us and seize everything that has corrupted our king's titles back into the king's bench native grand jury trial magistrate court full stop in this eight point star sheriff's hat is the bank creditor i'm running the maui powerhouse bank and the maui king william fourth trust Okay, that's the creditor. Naatua Iwa Altair Limited New Zealand. One of a trillion shares, the parent company of 250 countries with a billion shares in each of those countries, going out at £25 each share. There, add that up for stars. Straight from this flag, straight after the meeting in Te Hapu with the Paramount Chiefs. If you're watching this, all the Hapus, in New Zealand and Australia and the world for that matter, you better hop on this waka because it's more powerful than all that lot. These are subjects of the King's Bench Court. They work for the King, they work for us. Simply put. Okay, Bruce, you're working for us.